still be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I hey there everybody welcome back to my channel and if you are new hi there welcome all right you guys so i just got back a little while ago from ross i was gonna take you guys with me but i figured i went alone so i figured let me just go ahead and enjoy this time alone because i don't know if you guonna know but i'm i mean almost every stay-at-home mom are always always with their kids so yeah i figured you know what since i'm going alone no kids I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy it just to myself and I'll probably go ahead and do a Ross haul and show you guys what I got when I get home so as some of you guys I don't know if you guys know or not I don't think I've mentioned it but we have we did have our laundry room remodeled and I am so excited to show you guys how it looks but right now I want to go ahead and show you guys what I got at Ross for my new laundry room so I'm super excited the whole theme is it's um like gray a little black into it white it's it's gorgeous i love it so let me go ahead and show you guys what i got and then i'll go ahead and show you guys how the laundry room is looking because yeah all right i got these little plastic containers i got three of these for because i have one two drawers so i grabbed three of these one two and three so i grabbed these right here and um these are the stickers that were on there i've already removed them and wiped them down and these are actually regular price was eight wait no. regular price was 4.99 and they had them on sale for 3.99 which is just a dollar off so yeah i went ahead and i grabbed three of these so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the drawer The next thing I got were, um, I'm going to go ahead. I should have started off with this, but let me just go ahead and show you guys this to get this out of the way. I went ahead and got me this t-shirt. It's just a black tie-dye, and this was uh, $3.99. Then I went ahead and picked up some socks for my little one. He needs some socks because he's always been running around barefooted. And since they're doing some renovations, they're also, since they finished renovating our laundry room, there we're getting our our dining room and our hallway renovated as well so he's been running around with socks and i have him wear his crocs but he's a taller and he doesn't listen so i grabbed two packs of um, socks white and black and these are um 5.99 each so i went ahead and picked that up for him and then um, I buy my sugar-free um, coffee syrups and they're at Walmart. They're about like almost $5 for a small one. So I grabbed this one while I was there so I can try it out. Never tried this um, this one right here. Like I don't know what the brand is for this one. Oh, Sweet Sensations. I've never tried it, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. I got it in the hazelnut, which is my favorite. And it's only $2.99 for this big old bottle and the one that i get at walmart i went i went ahead to go grab it so i can show you guys this one is almost like um five dollars so yeah compare this to this like 2.99 five dollars this is only 12.7 fluid ounces this is 25.4 fluid ounces so grab me this gonna try it out if i like it i will go back for some other ones because they did have vanilla but i'm not like a real fan of vanilla i prefer hazelnut so yeah and i went ahead and i grabbed me two of these uh, microfiber cleaning cloths because i like to use them on my dining room table because it has glass on it i like to use them to wipe down my washer and dryer so i absolutely love these um so i it's time i needed some new ones so yeah so i got this um sharper image 10 pack microfiber cloths and this has um let me see 10 pieces in it and then the same here this is the every home microfiber cleaning cloths as well and it's a 10 pack so and then this was $4.99 and this one was $4.99 as well so I grabbed those and I went ahead and I found these there as well um, I'm gonna keep these probably in for my laundry room these are like a, a aromatherapy um, cleansing sprays 
and it's soothing white tea leaves fresh citrus with warm aspects of earthy woods and tender vanilla musk it's funny it says vanilla musk musk and i said i'm not a fan of vanilla but that's just when it comes to this i don't like it but yeah it's a scent room spray it oh my god you guys it freaking smells good it smells like a perfume like i'm serious like i would wear this as a perfume not really because it might irritate my skin but i think it would pass for a good perfume smell it's really good and these were 4.99 as well the next ones i'm going to show you guys are the ones that i have up here it's this one i believe this one was 10.99 and then that one was 8.99 and that one was $8.99 as well. All right then. So now going back to um, these baskets, you guys. My husband was like, what are you thinking? Why did you get all these? I was like, hello, I'm redoing my laundry room. So yeah. And plus I saved up for it. So I'm going to buy me them. So it's these baskets. So I grabbed me all these baskets because the way i have my laundry room it has a hint of black and that's what i wanted so the storage are gonna go up there so yeah and then um i went ahead i have a i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen baskets all together but different sizes so the first size is this size right here although they're now that i'm looking at it they're kind of different because these doesn't have this is just the it doesn't have the little it has this kind of handle but it's almost it's exactly the same fabric that it has on there so yeah i got this this one was 2.99 just for this single basket and i went ahead and i found these as well like i mentioned these have a different kind of handle and this is a three pack and this one was 8.99 and then I went ahead and I grabbed these medium size. They're a lot like, you know, more deep. So I grabbed these and these were $4.99 each. And then I grabbed this size, like this, this big size right here. I grabbed that and it comes in a two pack and this is, this cost me $7.99 each. So, yeah, $7.99 each, and that's how it looks. Looks like that. So, I grabbed three packs of that, so it's a total of six. So, that's what I got. Oops. And the next one is the only size that I found in this one. This is also the same style as the first little one that I showed you guys. This one right here is the same size as that one, so, yeah. Um, and then this one $5.99 and then I, I don't know and then these I think I don't know if I showed you guys this I think I did I already showed you guys this but yeah that is what I found for my laundry room decor slash I guess um, storage so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything where it goes and I will come back and show you guys how the laundry room is looking once it now that is done and then i will go ahead and show you guys you guys will also be able to see how my storage containers look in here so yeah so um i'll be right back all right you guys so i am super excited to share this with you guys and i'm just so excited because i waited for two years now to get this laundry room remodeled to the way i like it and here we added these doors and the man that remodeled our laundry room, he made them himself. Um, he also added the little rail there. I'll leave the description box down below where my husband purchased that. We, I went ahead and decided to go with this kind of countertop because I kind of knew the colors I wanted in my laundry room. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit as you can see, just so you can get a full view. And the tiles missing you see right there. It's because we're going to get that master bed, uh, master restroom remodeled because it is a small restroom. So we're going to get that remodeled. So he said he's not going to put any tiles there because once he starts remodeling the restroom, it can like go the same pattern. 
So yeah, I actually love this time. My husband and I picked out everything and we just love the way it came out. So yeah, the doors are also going to get changed. The, the wall is going to get knocked down right there, but this is how it's looking for now. Um, I love the way these came out. The man that remodeled it made the X's on there and everything, and he painted it. And I wanted like a hint of black, so that was my goal for my laundry room, just to make it look open and clean and nice. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. He added the little, actually my husband told him to add that little backsplash back there. That was like a little surprise. I didn't know they were going to do that, but that's something my husband did it did on the DL, which I really, really love. And I don't know why I keep showing the same thing, but yeah, um, that still needs to get done. Um, we're also going to, it still needs to get painted the, around the door, the frame around the door. So yeah, it just looks really nice. I love it. Also, the sink in the laundry room we got that from Costco and that is a sink that I've been really really wanting and the reason I picked this countertop is because I knew I wanted like a hint of black and I think that kind of ties in with everything it's also missing its handles on the doors and they're going to be black handles and those are not on yet but they will be on soon and the shelves you see up there he made them himself and yeah and I put those little Things that I bought from Ross, the little plants. I think it just it just really brings it in together. Also got some hand towels. I've also bought a a couple of extra little things. You just don't see it on here because, I mean, like I mentioned, I bought those after I recorded this video. But I thought I'd just give you guys a look on how it's looking already. And that towel hanger, I also got that off Amazon, and of course, it has to be black, you know, trying to bring in the black, and then we also got the light switches here changed, so now they're just like these, and then the water over here where it connects to the washer, he went ahead and he made that box for it, because it was on the other side, it, the laundry room was like a big, big thing that just gave us a hard time since we moved in. So as you can see, we have two different machines here. The washer's white, the dryer is gray. That's because our dryer had broke. We had them white, but our dryer broke. So we kind of had to like, we couldn't find the same one that we had. So we had to just go ahead and pick. Hey, as long as I have something to wash my clothes in, right? And I went ahead and I put the little black baskets in there. I thought they were all gonna fit. But they don't all fit in there. And plus, I don't want it to be overcrowded with baskets or anything like that. So I am going to take a few of them back. But I do need to get something right here for this corner. I don't know exactly what yet. But I think once I see it, I'll know. And then I went ahead and showing the towel again. <laughs> so yeah, I went ahead and I put one of those. I just like to put one of those plastic containers, the curly containers in there. So we could put our garage opener and I went ahead and I bought some um, glass, um, those little microfiber towels so I could wipe down my washer and dryer. And I did end up just only having two of these acrylic trays and just the long way side by side. I think that will work great. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to put there yet, but like I mentioned, little by little, when I see something, I'll know and I'll go ahead and get it. And down here, I went ahead and put the little bit bigger deeper baskets there and the longer one I really like that one um like I said I need to get some stuff to fill it up some cleaning supplies and whatnot and candles and just fill that up so I can have it there and this is where the dirty coast is going to go right under there I still have to get some baskets Everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you are new hi there welcome so right now I'm actually heading home already because I just um, I just dropped my kids off at school so yeah um, I was gonna go to the store right after 
after I drop them off because that's normally what I'll do to run my errands. I'll do it right after I drop them off, but because, um, you know, that way I can have a little me time. I could get things done and not buy extra unnecessary things, or I should say not end up buying unnecessary things because when I do take my kids, or if I were to go after I pick up my little one, he would just ask for toys and stuff. Um, so yeah, I tried to do it before they get out of school. But unfortunately, um, right now, I have to go back home. I have to go back home right now. I have to go home, back home right now. Sorry, I'm kind of like trying to pay attention. Um, so I have to go back home right now and I have to go pick up, um, there's a mess. It's messy. It always gets messy from, um, on Sundays is when it gets messy and then I'm left with, so then, you know, I'm left on Monday to pick up a lot. And since, um, Sunday was kind of, I kind of took it as more kind of like an easy laid back, um, day. And then l later on at night, my husband and I end up going out, just having a little date night, just mom and dad, you know. So we did that. And then, um, so yeah, I didn't clean up and <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I probably have and I may sound like a broken record, but we are in the middle of getting our house remodeled. They just finished remodeling our, um, our restroom and I did a video on that. So you guys might see that video before this, but yeah, they remodeled our restroom and um, now they're remodeling our dining room and they chipped away the rocks that were in there. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna put some flooring down and um, yeah, it's just, it's a hot mess. So I had to come home and on top of that also, um, my son's gonna be coming out early these past two weeks, this next two weeks, because there's parent-teacher conference. I have a conference with this teacher today. So they usually get out at 11, so they're gonna be getting out at 10. And when they come out at 11, I, she usually opens the doors by 10.45, and then she'll start letting them go. So that means I would have to go pick him up at 9.45, which doesn't give me a lot of time. It's already 8.21. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to pick up and clean up as much as I can. And um, the rooms, you guys, my room, boy, I think all rooms right now are just so messy. My son's, my son's room, my daughter's room, my toddler's room, and my bedroom. It's just been so messy just because, like I mentioned, with all these renovations that we were doing in the mainly in the um dining room it's just he was blocking off with like um with um paper or plastic he was blocking off you know the living room and stuff so i was we were very limited on where we can go we the kids couldn't even go into the rooms so we were like just in the after he finished the laundry room he went from we, we could only get through like my room um the laundry room the kitchen the dining room and um, that's about it. The kids couldn't go into the rooms until like after he left. And he leaves. He gets here around 8.30 and he leaves um, by 5.30. So that's almost most of the day that I'm just very limited to only certain spots in the house. So I don't know what he's going to do today. I think he's going to go ahead and chip the rest of the corners of the rocks that, in our, that the door is at. So he's probably going to do that. And then I don't know if he's going to repaint the wall. And then he's going to go ahead and I don't know also if he's going to do the flooring today. But yeah, we have some renovations going on. We're also um, planting, we're getting grass growing in our yard because it had a lot of rocks. So we're trying to get some um, grass, you know, in our front yard. And so right now it's like all taped off and it's just dirt. So we've been doing that. We've been doing a lot to the house. So it's just, it's exciting. But anyways, the whole thing was that. I was going to go and get some stuff because my son's birthday is on Tuesday. Yeah, his birthday is on Tuesday. He's going to be 12 years old, you guys. He's going to be 12 years old. So I was going to go get him some stuff. So I'm here with my little guy, JJ. Um, we just got... I just finished um, having a teacher-parent no, conference with him. Hold on, it's okay. I have money. And I just finished having a teacher-parent conference with his teacher. A teacher-parent conference um, with his teacher. And um, we are here at Walmart because I forgot a few things. Yesterday I came to Walmart, but I forgot 
I forgot to get what I needed to get while I was at Walmart yesterday. So I am back here again. Just me and him. So yeah, I'm just back here to pick up those things that I need. So I thought I'd go ahead and bring you guys along. And since they are remodeling, they are removing the carpet from our living room. And they've already removed the little rocks from our dining room. There's so much going on right now with, you know, re renovating our house. So I figured it's, why not come on and do this? And plus, I got to get my son's... Um, birthday little candies and bags and stuff like that for his school tomorrow so i thought i'd go ahead and bring you guys along with us and yeah so let's go ahead and let's go get it going mom look what's on my nose you look like a little let me see right there looks like it's a <laughs> okay all right so i'll let you guys go i'll be right back bye so as you can tell i am back already from walmart i know i said i was gonna go ahead and take you guys along with me and i am talking more because we are getting our living room renovated now so my living room is my room so yeah <laughs> my dogs are barking, but he's in there renovating it so yeah so that's some kind of shh. but um let me come over here but um but yeah anyways i know i didn't take you guys along me along with me um into walmart like i said i was i just got caught up with making sure i got what i needed because i've gone to walmart the past couple of days twice and i still forgot to get some things and i wanted to make sure i got everything but i did want it to record but then i also have my little one that's why i mentioned earlier that i like to go after i drop them off at school that way i have that time to myself and i'm able to get exactly what i need to get and nothing extra but I do need to order online because I think if I order online, I'll be able to stick to what I need to get. But other than that, um, yeah, I think, let me go ahead. And since I didn't take you guys along either with me, I think I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what, I'm, what I got there, okay? All right, yeah, so I'm currently eating something. I know I said I was going to show you guys a what I got at Walmart, but um, for breakfast, I just had my coffee and some cereal. So that didn't really keep me full long because I didn't have much. I just had um, some of the honey bunches of oats. I know not the best, but it's what I had. And on top of that, I don't know. Can you hear that? Sorry about that. But and on top of that, um, I had a little bit of walnut nuts. I just had a little bit, and I also had it with some cashew milk. So yeah. So but I'm exhausted. Just going shopping is exhausting. Sorry about the noise. But I am having this right here. It's this um, Lean Cuisine Comfort um, Cravings Alfredo Pasta with Chicken Broccoli. Um, that's 280 calories in it, and it looks like this. It's it's all right. Um, it's all right. It's not like yummy. Oh my god! I'll buy it again. It's it's all right. Mm. And I put the amount that it said in still a little bit cold. But it's alright. If you're really hungry, you will not know. If you're really hungry and you have one of these, it'll taste like this cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this up and then I'll show you guys what I got at Walmart and then um I gotta clean up. We have so much going on. What? Let me see. Oh. And. Is it? Well, take them off, Tata. So. I like shopping. I'm a little hungry. I didn't really. Eat. Like I mentioned, I ate a little bit of cereal. It didn't really fill me up. It was more just contained. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll talk to you guys later. Or in a little bit, I will show you guys what I got at Walmart. Alright, so my son wanted to share with you guys what he got at Walmart. He got this little um, basket right here that has Walmart. And they came with little bagels, um, strawberry milk, I believe or lemonade came with some orange juice pineapple corn on the cob some mac and cheese chicken some, wings 
chicken wings, hot dogs, um, pancakes, chicken macaroni. He got the little fruit can, the unicorn cupcake mix, and some little t a little tomato, pear, orange, and grape. And this is um, what is this? Um, this is an a water bottle. An a water bottle. So, bottle. So that is what he got in his little. Mom, you, Mom, you forgot two more. These no, I already said that. that. So yeah, so that's what he got while we were there. Do you like them? Yeah. Mom, you forgot this one behind. Oh, yeah, that is what, what is that, tomatoes? No. Tomatoes. No, it isn't. Oh. All right then, you guys. So the first things that I got when I was at Walmart, I got this. Please, I've cut it out. All right, so at Walmart, I got this Vaseline Fast Absorbing um, Lotion, and it is 3-in-1 body, face, hands. So, yeah, my husband really, really likes this one, and it smells really good. And then I also picked up two of these right here. This I'm going to go ahead and make a setting spray, a DIY setting spray for my daughter and myself. And then I picked this up because I'm out of this. My daughter and I, we share it. So she used up most of it. So yeah, so I grabbed another one of those. And then I picked up I picked up this right here, a pooper scooper. I don't know if you guys know, but we did get two kittens. So we got that. And then I also picked them up this, um, it's a... Ultra Guard, it's to kill fleas, deer ticks, fl flea eggs, and larvae. So, yeah. And then, uh, I also got me this book right here. Just to help me stay focused and um, keep track of some certain things that I'm doing. So, yeah, this was only like a dollar or something. And then I got some rice vinegar because I was going to do this thing called, I don't know what they're called. I'll put in the bottom down below of the screen right here. It's, it has white rice with seaweed and salmon. So this is the only thing that I needed. And then of course, and with that is the spam. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. So yeah, that is what I got from there. And then over here for my son's birthday, I went ahead and picked up two bags of these. Um, 20 bags of um, Skinny Pop popcorn. And then it has the Pirate's Booty Skinny Pop kettle corn. Two bags of those. And then I grabbed two of these because they had cupcakes, but the cupcakes had pink and purple on top. That's all they had. And then they had like little, little small cupcakes. So I figured I'd just go ahead and pick, the, pick up two of these. And of course, you pick, you grab those cookies. I grabbed a pack of napkins. And then I also got this, um, this party miniature size candy bags. Oh, I thought I was going to go like that because I wasn't looking. I got that. No. And then... I grabbed um, these. I don't know if you guys remember these. These are the mango with Lucas on it. It's so yummy. I remember those from when I was small. So when the bread man used to come by, we would pick that up. And then I grabbed three of these packs of these are the Lucas Swinkles Sauceschetti. Sauceschetti. So I grabbed those. I was gonna get the ones that were on a stick on the yellow or red. Oh, those what is ones it? are good. I was gonna grab some of those, but I felt like it was gonna be too much, and maybe the kids don't like spicy stuff like that. <laughs> and then, of course, I grabbed some um, candy bags. And yeah, don't mind this kid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind.